at the 2022 Tampa RV Super Show, we came across a fifth wheel that we just couldn't stop thinking about. Check this out. This is the Keystone Arcadia. Now, I tell you, I've never had a fifth wheel, uh, but this one, this one has me thinking. You gotta see how nice this thing is inside. All right, walking in. Wow, look at this. Look at the decor of this thing. Look at this. Have you ever seen a sectional sofa in an RV? I think it's very important that I kind of stretch out on this thing and really think. And I brought her back to this Arcadia. Uh, yes. I want to. I want to see her reaction to it. Well, this is this is good. It really does have the feel of a home, even the window treatment. Yeah. Dropping the drape. Big windows to open. Now I see why so many people have fifth wheels. It's big, but boy, is it nice, just like home. Now before we get started, we would really like it if you would do us a big favor and subscribe. Subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel. Please subscribe, there's a little button there that you can click and then there's a little bell icon. If you click that, you'll be notified when we have new videos online. We'd always been curious about the fifth wheel life and after seeing that Arcadia model, we had to find a way to make it happen. So we put in our order with Keystone and after finally finding the right truck to tow with, we felt we were getting one step closer. Then it was time for a sneak peek at our Arcadia's build progress at the Keystone factory. Have you ever wondered how a fifth wheel is made? We are gonna get the president of Keystone to show us how these new Arcadias are put together. So this is where your unit starts, and this is what it looks like when it first rolls in the door. And you'll notice that this chassis is a little different than everything else. We'll get into some of the details of that. Um, but this is the crawl space chassis. So this is where Arcadia begins. Okay, so at this stage of the game, we're starting to pull our electrical and our plumbing through that crawl space. That's these harnesses right here. This is our unified wiring. So now we're moving on to cabinet set. So we're gonna put everything on the inside, including some of our dividing walls and all of our cabinetry. You see all these wires hanging down and it doesn't look like a lot's gonna happen over the next station, but this is where a ton of stuff happens that's really important for this coach. This is a slide out, and we're gonna roll this right into the side wall of this coach. Right over here it goes. Look at that, the hole already ready for it. And here it is. This is our unit, fresh off the Keystone assembly line. After going through a second series of quality control checks, it's about to be shipped for delivery. We got a chance to briefly go through it and learn from the Arcadia product manager a few of the unique features that made it the RV of the year. The Kurt ARV hitch pin, the head pivots back and forth. This rubber pad here, is designed to reduce the effect of what we call chucking, which is a sensation that you get pushing and pulling. Looks pretty comfy. Definitely comfy. Scooch back here. Ooh. So you can invite guests. We can invite guests. They're super easy to put in whatever position you want or to store all the way up at the top. There's a bottle opener right there. <laughs> Oh, you sure I mean, a I mean for crying out loud, let, let's, get our, let's get our priorities right. <laughs> <laughs> From the Keystone factory, our Arcadia was shipped to Camping World, the dealer we chose to purchase it from. Home. <laughs> well, at Camping World, we also had them install the fifth wheel hitch onto our truck. We chose a top-of-the-line A20 sliding hitch from Kurt. That's the same company that made the fifth wheel hitch pin that we showed you earlier. While they installed the hitch, a team of techs prepped and cleaned our Arcadia for delivery, giving everything a final quality inspection. Uh, check the fresh water tank, all that. Then we made the purchase and officially took yes. possession of our brand new RV. Yep, All right. Wow, look at that. 
Look at that. Yeah. Hey, we got chairs. We got. We got the whole campsite set up. Look at Bo. You got toys. <laughs> Look at that. That's great. Come on, Bo. Guys. This is the tow vehicle. And if you are a regular, you have probably uh, heard us talk about how hard it is to find uh, a Super Duty truck. Uh, the one we finally settled on is gently used. This is a 2021 Ford F-250 Lariat 4x4 diesel. I was very reluctant about my buying this, but I have to admit, it is very comfortable. You know, we wanted to just see how far the truck stuck out. I didn't think it would fit all the way to the garage, but I forgot about the heights. This is a big truck. Uh, I don't think it could. It isn't going to fit in. It might fit in, barely, yeah. but the antenna wouldn't. Now we were, I got to say, a little apprehensive because what well, we've never towed anything this big before, but I have to keep telling myself that I'm towing something because it's... You better keep telling yourself you're towing something. <laughs> yeah. It's been really smooth. I was very curious what I would do with uh, gas mileage when I'm towing this thing. And it looks right now that I'm averaging just about 14 miles a gallon uh, for towing. And uh, just to put that in perspective, on our Class C Leisure Travel Vans uh, motorhome, I get 12.4. So, uh, so far, that's, uh, that's been pretty exciting. With the RV and truck now ready, it was time to camp. With all our gear, we set out and decided to break the Arcadia in with just a quick local camping trip. This isn't a review, it's just my first impression of the kitchens. If you look to the left, we've got our seating area, we're going to have some lunch. And right behind me is the sink and the kitchen area. The one dilemma that we have is this window. It's a screen window. So we've got to figure out some sort of window treatment. Because you know when you're in a campground, everybody's walking around, cutting through lots and everything. You're not going to want this window into your living area. One of the things you can't do enough of is reading your owner's manual. Go over it, go over it, and go over it. But I do have to say, I am a little distracted by these windows, they do such a good job of bringing the outside in. Now, we're just in an ordinary park right now, but I can't wait to get to some beautiful spot and be surrounded by nature and just sit and look out these windows. Okay, here's the big deal, and it is a big deal. It's the source of most of my aggravation. Once well, on most of the fifth wheels uh, that are sold today, it's a really handy tool. You just push a button and it will automatically level the unit for you. It works awesome most of the time. It doesn't work so well sometimes and then you have to manually uh, level it. That's the challenge that I'm facing. As I try to settle everything in here and make it mine and put everything where it needs to be where it's not gonna slide or bump. I've got pots and pans in here, but just something to keep things from banging. I ended up buying a couple of baskets. And in this basket, I'm tall, I can reach. I'm gonna have some paper plates, my real plates, and some bowls. And I'm just gonna put those up here and then Get it in there, it's a tight squeeze, but it does work. But right now that's what I'm doing because I don't want things smashing and banging together. Figuring things out, where I want everything to go, that's always the challenge for me. So that worked out well. We followed that by a longer adventure down to Tennessee. But it didn't take long to see why we're going to love camping in this fifth wheel. Even with all the research and prepping, there's always something new to learn, especially with the towable. 
So with that in mind, we went back to school, RV driving school. Jennifer, welcome to Team Arcadia Driving School. You can put in an app that's actually, just, you don't have to drive 65, but you know, try to stay 50 to 60, you know. That's the sweet spot. Yeah, that's the sweet spot because now that we're hooked up and everything's safe in the bed of the truck, now it's time to hit the road. <laughs> I'm gonna move your seat forward to where you get comfortable and, and then readjust the mirrors. The big question is, where's the student driver sign? <laughs> All right, so here I go. Yeah, so you roll out, make your name. Roll out, because nobody's coming. Yep. Perfect. Make a wide to it. So if I, if I stay under 40, I'm comfortable. Yeah. Mike, you're going to feel very comfortable driving this, and the danger is going to be that you're going to be overconfident, but that's why you got a wife. <laughs> okay, Mike, it's your turn. Let's see if you can do as well as Jennifer did. Yeah. She's beat me in every other sport we've tried. <laughs> I suppose she'll beat me in this. Well, that's interesting, because if you just hug that, the white on the white line, it just... It clears it. Yeah. You don't have to go over it. Yeah. I see that. I see why you have to aim for that. So you can see the side of the camper now pretty well? Yeah, pretty good. Okay. So what you want to do is back up and, and keep that view in your mirror. Straight. Yeah, just so back up straight. If you start to lose it, that's when you'll steer. There you go. It'll come back now. Keep on going. It, more of it will come into view as you're going. So you're going to want to turn... To the right. Yeah, turn your wheel to the right. And back up. There we go. Straight back, you got it. We now can back up and drive our fifth wheel. And it was easier than I thought. It was much easier than I thought. Well, so far so good, or should I say great. Yeah. We can't wait to get started in our Arcadia to go visit North America. We've got so many places that we want to go and things we want to see. And we want to bring you with us. Uh, but, but we also want to bring you inside and outside because we also have a tour that we've uh, shot that uh, is a complete walkthrough of the Arcadia, all the features that we really like. Um, we take you everywhere, inside, outside, on the roof, on the roof. So you can uh, follow the the link here. Uh, just uh, click that, and you can uh, look at that tour right after this video. But if you haven't subscribed, please do. We've got lots of content coming up. Click the bell icon, then you'll be notified when we have new videos online. This is a fifth wheel, of course, but we also have a small motorhome, and we use that a lot. We'll probably use the fifth wheel, you know. Or as a base. It's a home base uh, for longer extended stays because mm -hmm. we like the motorhomes too. And uh, you can find uh, lots of stuff on our motorhome travels as well. We're Mike and Jennifer. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. Mm -hmm.